Just a few moments ago, I noticed something interesting once again on the OpenCore Nightly page. The developers have added two brand new entries, and one of them is especially important, it's related to modern wireless patches. So what do these new updates actually mean? Are the new modern wireless patch sets useful for running macOS Tahoe on unsupported Macs? And can these new wireless patches finally fix the Wi-Fi issues on unsupported Macs running macOS Tahoe? And the most important question, is the next upcoming OpenCore version 2.5 instead of 3.0? And will it be the update that finally brings support for macOS Tahoe? In this video, we'll answer this question, review both new changelog entries, and test the new modern wireless patches on an unsupported Mac running macOS Tahoe. So make sure you watch till the end, because this update has raised a lot of questions in the community. The first update, Implement New Modern Wireless Patch Set, introduces a new and improved set of wireless patches to the project. In simple words, the developers made changes to help the software work better with older wireless hardware, keeping it updated and more efficient. Before we test these new modern wireless patches on macOS Tahoe running on an old unsupported Mac, I first want to clarify what Sync Patcher Support Package means. The update called Sync Patcher Support Package simply refreshes the support files and tools that the patcher uses. This makes sure the project is using the latest resources, so everything works smoothly and avoids patching errors. In short, the first update improves wireless features. And the second update updates and synchronizes the support tools that the patcher needs to work properly. Now let's download and install these updates on our secondary Mac for testing. First, we install the new OpenCore version. After installation, let's launch OpenCore Legacy Patcher. And what's this? We just spotted a new version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, 2.5.0. Unfortunately, it's completely useless on macOS Tahoe. We still see the same unsupported host OS warning, and the network connection is missing, just like before. This raises an important question, is OpenCore 3.0.0 going to be delayed even further? And is 2.5.0 really the next major release, one that clearly does not bring macOS Tahoe support to unsupported Macs? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And please remember, do not install this version of OpenCore on macOS Tahoe. It is simply not designed for Tahoe. Installing it may break your keyboard, trackpad, and USB support on unsupported Macs running macOS Tahoe. For macOS Tahoe, only OpenCore version 3.0 should be used. And that's it for today's video. I hope this helped clear up a lot of confusion about these new updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.